level, please. Well, is Funkamadi going to be able to do anything to stop this onslaught? Well, he's come out firing. He's obviously got to try and make a bit of an impression early on. Lost that first game to two. There we are, best of three games. So it's obviously not all over yet. One love. Well, at least he gets the first point of this second game. Well, that's a bit of Dong John's own medicine. That smashed down the line on the forehand side. And he moved across very quickly. The easier shot would have been to hit it cross court to the backhand. Two love. Oh, come on. Pomadi can't afford two. those. A strange mistake because he doesn't really try to do over much with the serve. On the change of ends, he's a little bit in two minds as to uh, how fast it's going to fly in this direction. Dong John playing with uh, into a slight drift now. He missed it. Two Dong John quickly. That's back level. Doing it time and time again, threatening with a big smash, and then just hitting him with a finesse, hitting him with a feather. the good defense of Dong John again though he didn't quite control that last one Three, seems to be in two four. minds there's a sort of an area of doubt a corridor of uncertainty I think I can borrow the cliche Well, that time, it was Fung Pamadi that was controlling it, and he was hitting the drop after drop after drop, trying to get Dong John to lift one a little bit short. Well, the first thing that Pamadi's got to cut out is uh, those errors. cannot possibly afford to make those simple mistakes. And there wasn't a great deal on that for Pomadi.
Well, Pomadi is definitely a couple of notches below the form of the previous few days. And I think it's all credit to Dong Jian. Played long. And I think uh, half the problem is that Pomadi likes to play against sort of outright aggressive big hitters. He's up against a very clever player in Don Jong, of course, who can also hit it as well. Sorry about that. Well, that's too long he's hit now. Pomadi's playing with the drift in this game. It's the opposite, of course, for Dong John. Eight two. Well, the crowd giving their local man a bit of a G up now. Yeah, they're really enjoying this. There it is again. Nine two. I wonder if Pamadi's resistance has now run out. Started off with aggression at the beginning of this second game. It's a game that he has to win. Seven over, two, nine. Well, the gift from Dong John might be enough to uh, start him on the road to recovery. That's another mistake. Three. curious thing is we've seen Pamadi players devastating a, a game over 15 points as we've just seen Dong John so we know that if he can just sort of get his confidence up he can string some fantastic points together oh brilliant Well, the rally had a bit of everything. The precise lifts at the back, that Nine, great exchange at the four. net, and then the power to finish. It's set up by the drop once again. And then the drive to the forehand side. I can't believe how many points Dong John is winning on Pomadi's forehand. Well, he went there for the third time. Dong John's lift needed to be a little bit further into the corner. Well, it's only a matter of inches every time, but uh, it's a fairly consistent. I'm afraid he's pushing those long. tight to the sideline wonder whether he thought about even leaving it yeah, that could even have dropped in the alleyway but he did play it he was a little bit late to it oh. 
Five is over. Nine. I played it too four. low. Nine four. Game two. one dropped in no Don John was wrong Nine. he's got the clenched fist and he's looking around questioning the call but that was clearly in no question well they say the players always know when the shots are in or out I'm afraid they don't Nobody's right 100% of the time. Five, nine. Now, Fung Pamari can just another couple of points. to threaten a bit of a recovery comes a mistake mind you it was a very good drop uh, the mistake was caused by the fact that he had to take it so low to the floor close call it's amazing how much that baseline has come into play in the second game cheap point for Dong John go Five, down the line 11. hit the winner cross court no, I just think that it's crucial there that uh, Dong John didn't get any more points in that service station and he's hit it long again Dong John's defense has been so good that uh, Pamadi feels as though he's got to hit it with just that bit of extra pace to make sure it gets past him Clinical.
Again, wonderful play at the net by both men. Well, the precision of both men at the net, absolutely breathtaking. Pomali can't believe it. I don't think we're going to get any better view of it from this end. Well, impossible to tell from that camera angle. Of course, there's no overall in badminton like there is in tennis. The chair umpire, even though he or she may see a clear error, cannot intervene. The call of the lines person is final. Yes, very clever shot, a lot of slice. Like Chinese change of tactic for Pamadi. And again, well, I think that one was a uh, fair call. It's almost fatigue when a player just leaves those and hope they're going to go long. Oh, yes. Well, he hits the shot and turns away. Just in case, I think there's any call about reaching across the net. It's been a while since Dong John has been able to get one of those through Pomadi's defence. And it moves him off 11, where he's been stuck for a while. He missed it. An air shot by Pomadi. You don't see that too often. Dong John gets service back. 12 7. He's up a game. Well, he got that one right. Superb. So crisply hit. Didn't get over. And the only way I can tell that is by <laughs> Dong John's reaction. 13-8. He's now two points. 
from another China Open title. That would make it a hat-trick. Great reach. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely at full stretch, not only to get his strings on the shot, but also to control it over the net. This is no accident. He knew where he was putting it. Match point, championship point for the local man, Dong John. Still in. Oh! What an effort. Seven is over. Seven, 14. Well, absolutely all out onslaught by Pomadi. How did he get that one back? And, but he couldn't get back across. Oh, and you just imagine that pamadi has got to play that sort of badminton to win a, to win a rally. Nice angle drop shot went right into the corner. So second championship point here in Beijing for the Beijing born Dong John. He's done it. Well, that's as good a game as I've seen Dong John play for a long, long while. Brilliant. And uh, the crowd behind me is absolutely packed in the stadium behind the cameras. There's some wide open spaces on the other side, but believe me, they're all on their feet. Appalling a wonderful virtuoso performance from Dong John. This was scintillating stuff, and then the flick through straight at Fung Pamadi. Both previous winners of the China Open, but uh, Dong John now has got the hat trick, and what a way to get it here in Beijing.